My next guest is a Grammy-nominated recording artist, multi-platinum music producer, and avid technologist, and most importantly, a Harvard graduate. I'm a graduate of the University of Houston. At least I had the H. He has Harvard. I have Houston. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation, <laughs> Ryan Leslie. How you doing, Ryan? I'm doing great. I am doing great. It's beautiful weather in New York City, wherever you're listening from. I hope you're <laughs> feeling it. You're okay. motivated. We're here, to, we're here to give you some gems and get you on the pathway to even more accelerated success in your life. So well, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad you're back tuning in, and I appreciate the opportunity to be on you. the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, the great thing about it is that I, I'm, you know, like I said, I love the fact that you're saying that. Hey, man, it's time for the minority to be represented and have leadership in the techno in the tech world. And uh, why are we failing there? Ryan, I got to ask you that before we get into the super phone talk and all that. Why are we failing in the tech world? And why are we not being uh, given credit for participating in the tech world? Well, I think it's systemic. I think, I think, I think where technology starts mm-hmm. is, it starts with, with, uh, it starts with the, the dream and the ideation yes, sir. that comes from, from just knowing that you can take an idea and without, you know, one of my good friends is Paul Judge from from Atlanta, and he's had he's had a couple of very successful technology exits. Mm-hmm. And one of the one of the greatest lessons that I've learned from him is that equal opportunity really is technology. So without land, without water, without steel, without brick and mortar, you can actually build services through technology that can create immense value. And so even for me, it you know, I, 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 coming from Harvard, I didn't actually have, have the ability to take a computer science class, and nor did I have any mentors growing up that really impressed upon me the incredible opportunity that technology would empower me with right. in my later years. And so I think it's important now, and the reason why I'm, I'm actually doing this podcast right now is just to let folks know that there is a digital age that is already upon us. There's an information age that's upon us. And in order for us to flourish in this age, we need to be prepared. And we need to be able to dream the impossible dreams because none of us know what 20 years from now is going to look like, which means we have the ability to build it. Uh, one, of the, one of my favorite sayings is that the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And so that's what Mm -hmm. we're doing at Superphone. We're inventing what we believe the future should look like. Mm -hmm. And we are doing this based on the concept that without buildings, without without locomotives and steel and railroads (laughs) and all of the all of the materials that were necessary to to build value in the industrial age, the information age is really just about creating the most efficient way to exchange information, and we believe that super phone and success happens at the speed of communication. And so, there's so much information available to us. It's mm-hmm. about communicating that information as efficiently as possible. And right. so, I believe it starts in schools. It starts in our schools. It starts in it starts in our early childhood education programs. And I also believe in, in creativity being the the first that's planted. In order to make us, to make us, to, to, to really make us the kind of success to be in technology. I, I had a meeting yesterday where someone brought to my attention or, or made the comment that Steve Jobs was more of an artist than he was a businessman. Mm-hmm. And when you look at the immense success of Apple as a technology company, a hardware technology company, a software technology company, the creativity that's at the helm means that minorities as urban music and all the creativity and, and cultural influence that we have, when it's harnessed the right way and it's directed the right way, it means that, you know, we already have the makings of being incredible technologists because right. being incredible technologists requires great imagination. But that imagination needs to be tied to right. actual real tactical skills of being able to speak the language of computers. And so that means that you have to wake up in the same way you would learn a, uh, another language like French or any other language, Italian. Mm-hmm. You need to learn the language of computers so that you can 
two computers exactly what you would like for them to do. And once you communicate it once, they will do it over and over and over and over again at scale and be able to serve hundreds of millions. And even in the case of Facebook or, or WhatsApp, literally billions of people on the planet. And so I think for us as a people, we, we just got to dream bigger. We got to dream outside of the confines of whatever we believe our current circumstances are. Mm-hmm. And when we dream big, and we apply creativity and ingenuity to the technical skills that we can learn for free online, we can really start <laughs> to learn the, the, the way that we should. Because that's what you did, because your degree is in government, correct? That's right. And so, but you, you, you went to Code Academy and you uh, learned online code and programming. And that, that, that's what I you're did. saying. That's what you're saying to us, okay? Don't allow your your direction or the way you've been pointed or your degree or what people expect of you to s- stop your ambition. And so how, just wrapping that around, how did you perceive that that was the right place to go to, to Code Academy to put you in the right direction for, to really deliver all the uh, technology that you're achieving right now, correct? Yes. I want to say this, in, in, every, in every sense of the word. Yes, sir you always look for the highest value proposition for the time that you're mm-hmm. going to put in. So even before technology, when I was doing music, mm-hmm. I, I did my research and I said, okay, well, how much does it cost for me to actually go get a beat from Jermaine Dupree? And I think at that time it was the heyday of the music industry, you know, about $100,000, mm-hmm. million dollars to get a beat. And so I looked at my bank account at the time, I was like, well, you know, I've <laughs> Hundred thousand, quarter million dollars to get one beat. I might as well teach myself how to make beats. <laughs> and, 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 that, and that's and that's exactly what I did. And that is a resource that all of us do have. Right. So in the absence of financial, and when we apply time, and we apply time in 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 an intentional way mm-hmm. to achieving the success we want to achieve. It's about, A, either finding a mentor or a teacher Mm -hmm. that is going to invest that time for you or finding online resources. And at the time, you know, I I didn't have online resources, but, you know, I I had digital resources. Like I could listen to Jermaine Dupree's beats on CDs Mm -hmm. and just sit there and do my best to replicate it. And so the beauty of, uh, of the information age is that a kid right now has more information at their fingertips than Bill Clinton had when he was the president of the United States in office. And so it's important for us to actually take the access that we have to that information and leverage it in our favor. And so that means that whether you have money or not, there are free resources online that can teach you how to basically do anything. You want to become a Photoshop expert. If you want to become an Adobe Premiere Pro expert, if you want to become a Pro Tools expert, if you want to become a coding expert, if you want to become an expert on science or an expert on literally any topic, Wikipedia, YouTube, and online resources can give you that education for free. Mm-hmm. And you can become an expert even without spending forty or $50,000 a year for that piece of paper that gives you a certificate that says you're an expert. And what you do with that knowledge is really up to you. That's true. And it's not to you, but it's also about how you share the knowledge, right? So you can amass the knowledge and all, I would say that any new value that's created in the world mm-hmm. is because someone creatively put their spin on it. And so Superphone is, you know, it's, uh, su- su- Superphone's a novel concept. And I'm driving to New York City to get here you can hear the sirens in the background. The <laughs> well, I know by New York, brother. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Superphone is a novel concept because of the ingenuity and creativity that's mm-hmm. being applied to an existing technology, Life which on. is SNS. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So I'm interested in just enabling and empowering and encouraging that next generation of creatives to be as creative as possible and look at problems that and challenges that the human race is going to be facing in the future and making sure that you sharpen your mind so that you can solve for challenges that we don't even know exist yet. And that's how you're going to really create value for the world. And when you create value for the world, the world turns around and creates value for you. Cool. We're on the phone um, listening to Money Making Conversation. I'm your host, Rashawn McDonald. We're on the phone with Ryan Leslie, uh, the creator of the Superphone, an incredible uh, young man. Uh, I have to say I'm young because he's younger than me. And he's doing some things that um, 
in the creative world of tech that is uh, flipping the script. Flipping the script. Uh, we're going to be back with more. And when we come back, uh, Ryan, I want to talk about Superphone, how that idea really came out. I also want to talk about uh, that Stevie Wonder CD. That, that, but what Stevie Wonder CD? See, your bio, it just says Stevie Wonder CD. It didn't say nothing about the actual CD. I want to know what songs really, okay. really, really sent you on the next level. We'll be right back with boy Ryan Leslie. Brilliant young man. Brilliant young man. I know I didn't do 1600 on my SAT. I, I can tell you that. I will not tell him what I did because... 1600 is perfect. <laughs> and he was 14. Hi, this is Rashawn McDonald. On, on the line is uh, incredible Ryan Leslie. Um, Ryan, I want, before we get into Superphone, what, and I, my degree is in mathematics, minor in computer science, sociology. And in, in high school, um, I was kind of like a, a, one of those chosen few. They said I was smarter than everybody. And I resisted that. I resisted that. I resisted the fact that I was in that. Advanced classes, I resisted. I was in this group of seven that they said was smarter than everybody in school. And it and and, and the reason I, I wanted to bring it up because it's important, I think, to admit your talents and don't shy away from the opportunity. That's what you just said in the first break. Is that there knowledge is so much is so available and it's free avail, free that you should take advantage of that. Being a young man at the age of fourteen who made a perfect score on your SAT. How did you deal with that? How did you deal being ahead of the curve with, with, with students? Because I'll admit that, that I shied away from it. I didn't want to be special. And you, were, you are special. And you were special then. So how did you deal with that before we move forward? I, I agree with you, my brother. I believe that you just have to embrace it. And I believe that we're all unique. And in the same way that we're all unique, we actually are every day engaging in the exact same activities. Mm -hmm. We got to sleep. We got to eat. We got to take care of ourselves, have some hygiene. And the rest of the day is how you actually feed your mind and body so that you can, you can deliver the most value to the world. And like I said, helping the most people in life is exactly how you're going to help yourself the best because you feel just as good helping people or better helping people mm -hmm. then you feel even receiving I agree help, with that. right i agree with and that. so I, I believe that you we all can find what our special gift is and we and, and i think the way that we find what our special gift is is understanding how we impact people and how we impact our families how we impact our friends how we impact the people who matter the most to us that is a gift that is very, very unique, right? Because mm -hmm. there is no one person on this planet who can actually personally help 6,000, 60,000, 6 million, 6 billion people. You know the people, and that's why I think friendship and close relationships are so important. Mm -hmm. And so even if you feel like your talent may, may, may there, there may be many folks who have the same talent that you have. They do. The, 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 way, the, the way I really think about it is that when my mother would sing to me as a, young, as, as, a young, as a young man, it was a lot different than listening to somebody sing to me on the radio. And that, that personal connection, mm -hmm. that personal uh, equity that was being built in that relationship by her just sharing her gifts and talent of, of playing the piano at night before I went to sleep, mm -hmm. that was so profoundly valuable to me. And it, it it made her life extremely valuable as well, knowing that she had that kind of impact on her young son. And so I think for anyone that, that's struggling or thinking, hey, what is my talent, what is my gift, you just need to look around you and look at the people that you're actually affecting. And the people that you're affecting, that is the gift, that is the value of your gift. I agree with that. And the more you can amplify, you have an idea or you have a product or a service that can help more people and you can start to scale it with technology, you scale it by building a business or an enterprise around it, then you start to see your value. And, and that's what you did with Superphone, correct? That's right. So just that's tell right. us how, 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 how did the thought process initiate itself into your mind, and then how did you move it forward? Yeah, so I just understood very early on that communication in general is, is, is wildly inefficient. And what I mean by that is, the number of, of young people that are listening right now to this podcast who have great ideas and just feel like they, they just don't know the right people or they don't have the money to start their idea. They probably don't even know a loan officer at a bank 
or they don't even know the first thing about even getting in touch with a bank to get a loan to start their idea and get it off the ground, or, or they feel like they don't have mentors, or they feel like they don't have a great sounding board that they can talk to around their idea so mm-hmm. that they can have examples or, or, or have lessons that other people have learned who have, have gone down this pathway in the past. I think that uh, I think that my my initial goal was always to make communication more efficient, and I think that when we when we leave ourselves to allow our relationships to be managed by third party social platforms like Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or whatever it is, it's a very very lazy way to approach life. Mm-hmm. And I think that when you're more proactive in life you're going to move the ball down the field a lot faster That's because true. you're calling the plays as opposed to reacting. And so when you think about your social graph, and I, I'm talking to everybody that's listening right now, when you think about <laughs> your know. social graph, and when you think about, hey, i got this many followers on Instagram, or, hey, I've got this many friends on Facebook, or I have this many connections on LinkedIn, those connections, those followers, they're only as valuable as the conversations you're actually having with them. They're only as valuable as the conversations you're actually having with them and the ways that you're transacting your time and the ways you're transacting money with them, right? And so it's very, very important to have a direct line of communication on all the people you're connected to Mm -hmm. because that's going to be the most efficient way that you can communicate your ideas, that you can build, and you can achieve success in the most efficient way manner possible so, so you really cre- so you, you really create the one-on-one mm-hmm. you're creating the one-on-one in a sense I'm, right? I'm helping you i'm helping everyone to to create that one-on-one escape right i'm right, i'm advocating right. every single connection you have on social media yes, sir those connections are extremely weak unless you have a cell phone number on every single one of them mm-hmm. and in order to have a cell phone number on every single one of your followers connections facebook friends YouTube subscribers, whatever you're building, you need a platform that is going to help you to manage those connections at scale so that you always have them at your fingertips Mm. and you can achieve success at the speed of communication. Mm. And that's thesis of super fun. Wow. And so when you when you pitched that idea, who who told you you were crazy, Ryan? Who told you? Anybody say you I think I actually just I I, I think <laughs> I did a I did an exhaustive search online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I, I had reached a stage in my life and career where I, I had the means, I had the financial resources. There you go. That Step out the way, money. Event. Step out the way, money. Get out the way, money. That's what you had, right? Yeah, and I and I and I had the ability to just say, like, okay, well, if this already exists, I just pay for it. Yes, sir. And I think that the real the real moment for me, the the eureka moment for me was that hey. This concept, in the way that I imagined and envisioned it, it just didn't exist. So our message didn't allow me to just say, okay, just show me all the conversations I'm having with photographers, because I need a photographer right now. Right. Or just show me all the conversations I'm having with people that work at Delta Airlines, because I'm running late for my flight. Mm-hmm. My I message just didn't work like that. Mm-hmm. My Samsung text messages just didn't work like that. And I said, well hey, we're living in the 21st century, my phone should just be able to do that. And so I thought it was more, instead of someone telling me that I was crazy, I was looking at the world saying, hey, the absence of this technology is crazy, right. and it's a great opportunity mm-hmm. that this absence creates a, 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 an ability for me to actually create this value in, this, in, in the absence of, uh, of the technology for which I was searching. Yeah, so this app, this, this is an app. You can go to Apple Store and download the Superphone yeah. app. It's been created by yeah. you. Now, I want to go back for, I know I said it earlier, if I don't bring up the fact that Stevie Wonder CD that you heard, that friend heard, yeah. made you play, what was the Stevie Wonder song, a, a CD? Well, I would say uh, Stevie Wonder's CD that really changed everything, that really just changed the whole course of my life and career and life path what songs in the key of life there you and go the, there the, you go what, what song though what song though that's a brilliant that's a brilliant cd that's a brilliant cd which song though? yeah it's really a brilliant body of work and, and the song was love and need of love wow. today and so i really believe that World you know that's what we're doing at Super Bowl. We, 
we are we are actually creating the ability to, for people yeah. to have closer relationships and get to what yeah. we all crave in life, which is more love. Wow. And if you have more love That's around heavy. your ideas, if you have more love around uh, the, the questions that you are asking, the help that you are asking for, it's so much more powerful to ask for help from someone that loves you as opposed to someone that doesn't know you. And you know what? I think there is a, I think there's a, there, I believe in the inherent good of humanity. And I believe, like I said, people feel better helping, uh, even better helping than being helped. And so the ability for you to actually find empathy and find real depth in your relationships is just going to make your life that much more enriched and better. And that's, that's, that's the goal. That, that's, that's the aim of Superphone. And so, and, and that means that whether that's, that's your customers, yes, sir. Because you want your customers to feel like you love them, you know, and that's why you're building a product to help them, uh, to have better lives, whether that's your fans, mm-hmm. whether that's your friends and family or your colleagues. I feel like deeper relationships are really, are, are going wow. to extend your life. And right. not only will they extend your life, they'll make your life that much more enriched. And so, as we go into the 21st century, I want you to think about your iPhone today. And I want you to think about how much better your it life be. would be by just having better organization, having a little bit of automation, <laughs> and having some intelligence on your messaging that actually allows for you with that super to phone app. With that super phone app, yeah. Hey, my man, we know we're gonna take this show to TV. I've already been notified. Can you be my first guest, Ryan? Absolutely. My man. Absolutely. You're the best, Absolutely. brother. Let's You're the best. We made the TV. All and, right, man. And I would be remiss. Anybody has any other questions for me, so I can cover anything, just go to textryan.com and leave your number, and I'll text you right back. Okay, go cool. Go to textryan.com, leave your number. I will text you right back, and we can continue the dialogue on my Superphone. Stay strong. Ryan Leslie, Superphone. Go to Apple Store. You can download it right now.